What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will, 813 on Saturday morning from What's Up in the Sky 37 channel, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Had a good night last night. Sorry I've been back here making videos for a while, but I am back in the ball game. I'm going to make a whole bunch of videos today while I have some time. Uh, spring, where I'm at, spring is here and it has surely sprung. Pool needs to get done. Everything this year needs to get done. It's amazing. What I'm at 10 years in my house and everything's starting to break and you know how that goes. But check this thing out, man. This whole area right here is ridiculously amazing. Um, well, to me it is, at least. If you guys are <laughs> having trouble seeing some of these anomalies right off the back, you're probably not one of my watchers. Uh, I'm looking at this box right here with this strange strange looking thing going around it and then at the top of course this little jobby down there whatever in the world that is this thing looks like a broken down tire right here this looks like a junkyard more more junkyard stuff on mars and once again more hiding from nasa three blocks three square blocks this is, i'm telling you this is being done by the rover or on the way back from the rover this isn't done by somebody standing at nasa they probably looked these over afterwards and make sure that everything's blurred out good but everything speaks to computer to me wait till you see this stuff up here though wait till you see this stuff bam what in the world is this i looked it's not rover tracks let me tell you what the rover tracks do not look like that even though they look like tracks um and if they do it almost looks wet i mean i don't I'm having trouble seeing the rover roll through here like this in this color and then just fade away right there. Now, I've looked through the other pictures of this day and I I, I don't see any other tracks. Um, and, and what makes me think, well, what in the world is this thing? Um, I mean, around it, look right here. There's, I've got my, I hate when I've got these little things up. You've got little squares sticking out here, little perfect circles. Now let me show you where I got this. And then I look over here. This is I'm gonna. Get, I have uh, my buddy Tracy sent me, so I need to get like four or five videos done. I got so many people to send me good stuff that I just haven't had a chance to get to. That I feel so bad all the time. I got the worst, like guilty conscience when when people go out of their way to do stuff for me, and uh, you know send me stuff. People send me stuff all the time, and this was one I just stumbled across today. Um, I forget who had sent this over. If somebody even did, this might have been one I was just looking at on the internet today, searching. It's from Saul 620, as always, man. There's so many good ones. 620 to 630. Wait till you see some of the stuff that, that's out here around this area. Um, just totally mind blowing some of it. Uh, at least to me, like I said, I you know I say I see what I see, you see what you see, and we go from there. You know, that's it. That's it. I tell you what, my channel has been taking a hit, and this last week it's gone down half the Half my uh, ratings have dropped, not ratings, but half of my hits dropped this week, and the trolls have come flying in from everywhere. I had to delete and ban like six people yesterday, and you go to their profile, and they all they do is go to our type of videos, like mine, um, Olympus Skies, uh, my other buddies, Mars Anomalies, they all go to our sites, especially the ones that are starting to get more hits, and once you reach a certain level, it's like you get this big and <laughs> excuse my language, target over your head or something and they come in and just wail away on stuff i tell you and it's got to be a concertative effort either that or i don't get it you know i don't see how it's not but check this little thing out tell me that doesn't look like a little figurine sitting on top of that maybe like a back of some sort of little animal sculpture or something very very interesting picture to say the least let's see if we can do anything to make this thing a little bit sharper um I really need to sit down with Christian again. And Christian, if you see this video, man, me and you need to get together and give me another YouTube thing on how you get these things so sharp. I still haven't done a video with his. He sharpens a picture up for me. And there's just so many to get done. Like I said, I, I know you guys are interested in this stuff. And uh, and if I'm wrong about that, that's a rover track. I totally apologize. But it seems to be next to a lot of uh, boards here. It looks These look like old petrified boards, you know, everything just falling apart and then this to me is the the caveat of the whole thing or you know the caveat how about that the uh the good look at this i mean there's how <laughs> that looks like a chest it looks like a chest with a rope around it i mean i don't know what to say if you don't see that this looks like a chest or a piano or something like that and it may be small i'm not sure we never get size with these pictures rarely do we get size and then when we do on our really good pictures like uh you know I don't believe the size they're telling us. Um, now, there does look like this might be some of the tracks maybe from the rover right down through here. So maybe the rover did traverse down through here. I, I, 
I don't know because it looks like it would have ran this little guy over if he did. So I don't think that he did. I really don't think that that's the rover tracks up at the top. I do think it's badass, whatever it is. A lot of times I'm starting to think there's moss or something growing out here. Um, and they just add this color to the picture. I mean, call me crazy. Call me what you want. I don't care what you call me. You guys that control my channel, you don't get to me, man. I love life. I love everything about life. Um, my father even died this year. My mother's... I have to help take care of her, and I've been helping take care of every people since I was a young kid. And uh, you know, you guys ain't gonna come put me down and stop me from making my videos. Let me tell you what, you you telling me and trying to get publicity. And you, there's a guy I'm talking to, and he I banned him yesterday. You're gonna you're gonna go ahead and come try and get publicity from my channel because I get a bunch of hits, man. You could do your videos, and good luck to you. But man, stay off my channel. I've banned you. Um, if you're even real, your your IP address coming out of uh, West Virginia or Virginia somewhere. Um, but another thing, right? Look at this down here, more blurring. And even on our cool little box there, it looks like blurring. And when I say that, here's, here, let me see if I can make it really big. And I hope you got HD on. And I bet a lot of you guys with the big TVs, some watch myself, my stuff on big TVs, some watch little. If you step back, look how perfect up here this is, right? And this is coming from Mars. So I, I give them a little bit of you know, credit here, but it's like the computer adds blocks of blur. And then there are so many other ways that they work on it. But let's look at this thing. If this blur wasn't there, this would surely stand out a lot more because you've got a lot of stuff around it. So, like I just said before, let me see if I can't mess with the color a little bit on this one. Um, gosh, especially on something like these boxes and even more stuff up here that look like little snakes and little uh, things. This is a perfect little circle up there. It looks like that tire. This whole this whole image is just cool. So I'm not gonna leave it much longer. I'm going to give you the link. The link's in the description box. When I add, you know, when I add that color, you can really, when I hit auto color, you can really see the blur that they do. And uh, this is a really good picture to have. Like this right here, this little thing's been blurred. It looks like it's, actually looks like it's just, this is all one piece that's just been broken up. Look how this stuff goes together. And this is what reminds me, and I say this a lot, of the Incan uh, temples and the way that they used to write. Um, you get a lot of these, uh, that's just my coffee pot, don't worry about that. It's early. I want to get up early, start making videos for you guys before I head out and start getting the pool together today. It's first sunny day this week. Um, so I should have been making videos all week, especially with how many I need to. But see how it just adds these blocks of blur. But up here, this is so interesting. It looks like something just wrapped around it like a cable. almost looks like it's a lockdown box or something. Um, or a strong box, something like that. Piano-shaped strong box. Who knows? That thing's just cool. Listen, I love these pictures. I don't care if you come here. You don't love it, man. Get the hell off my channel. You know, <laughs> I don't understand why people come waste their time and uh, complain about stuff. Ooh, look at these down here. See these these perfect circles and stuff and things. And it's, they're just everywhere. And the more and more we look at these Mars pictures, I think we're finally a lot of the scoop stuff here looks like a, a propeller right here to a plane that's been cracked off. It wouldn't wouldn't fly if you stuck it on a modern day plane because this doesn't go out to there, but. You know, it does look like something along those lines. And what all I'm doing is equating what I see to what we have, you know, what I've seen in my lifetime. I'm 33 years old, and what I've seen, you know, I sit here and equate my stuff I look at to. Nothing much to it, nothing scientific, really. You know, just a uh, hobby of mine. Now, let me do this right here. Image adjustment. What do I want? I want to try and sharpen this stuff up and see if we can't do a little bit um, with the smart sharpen. I said my buddy... Let's see. I know he's gonna be there. That sharpens it up a little bit. Let's do that. Then let's do what I usually do. I always give it this little bit of gamma just to pull it out. I bet you when I pull the gamma, this stuff's gonna look like it's. Uh, but yeah, look at that pulling that stuff out. Just very, very lightly. Wow, that's cool to me. And if the rover made those tracks on whatever it is, I don't know how it could have, but these look like metal boxes, little lined up metal pieces or something. That's look like a little row of mini baby homes. And what if marshes were this big and they saw our rover and our rover was giant to them, you know, who knows? But I think I just oversaturated the picture and that's why we're getting a lot of that, you know, shiny look to it. But anyways, guys, uh, as always, I will provide the link. This is what I'm probably going to put on. I think I'm going to have to use this right here or this little thing down here because this is just badass as well. Um, this whole little area is a wait. I've got so many more pictures from these days. You guys uh, stick around. I'm going to be keep popping these videos out. I'm going to think I'm going to try and make enough videos to put out for a week. And uh, that way I'm ahead of the ball game a little bit. So I don't feel so overwhelmed. 
and uh, we bust stuff out because summer's coming. I live at the beach, and you guys, you know what happened last summer. It's definitely not as much, but and you would figure this is why the rover would put blur marks on it because there's a perfect circle that's been just carved or something into here. It looks like somebody threw a perfect baseball or a, you know like a metal ball and just chucked it into that rock or whatever the heck that is, and it just stayed in there. But Anyways, guys, much love. What's up in the sky, 37? Please hit share, hit like, hook me back up. We need to get my ratings back up. Oh, what, I'm going a week, and, and the, you know, my ratings come from five or six of my videos I that hit you know, big, they're the ones that I get trolled on, you know, because as people are clicking through, they'll see, you know, 2 million hits almost on one, and we're almost up to 10,000 subscribers, another 500 subscribers, I do believe, and I will be giving away this Curiosity Rover, so if you want to maybe get this Lego Curiosity Rover, which is somewhere around me, I've been grabbing it in all my videos and showing it to you, you know what it is, I got the little thing up there on the fireplace, if you can't see it behind me, oh well, because I can't tell what you guys are looking at, um, except for on my screen. Um, all I have to do is go to my website, www.whatsupinthesky.com, hit register, and that's it. I'm going to pull out, after I hit 10,000, I'm just going to print all those names out, cut them out, stick them in a hat, and I'm just going to pull it live here on YouTube. And we'll email the winner, and uh, I'm going to, wherever you are in the world, you know, whatever it costs, I'll send you that little rover, and you can uh, join the cool <laughs> the cool guy Lego Rover Club. All right, guys, much love to you guys. What else do you guys see? I know, uh, feed me something here. I know you guys see a whole bunch more stuff on this picture. All right, take care. I think I showed you guys where it was from. Here's the picture right here. Um, up here, even you can look how much that comes out. And I don't know. Let me look up here one more time. These they did look like a little bit more tracks up this way too. But all right, guys, much love to you. Peace.